you're new to the world of Dell Tech Cobra, then welcome to an ever-growing community of earned value professionals who've discovered the power and flexibility of Cobra and understand why it's the best in-class tool on the market today. This video is a brief introduction for getting started with Dell Tech Cobra 5.1. You'll see a brief navigation overview and some short clips of Cobra being used to load, update, and analyze a project and then produce a report using the report wizard. Before we look at the Cobra software, let's first give you some context, starting with a diagram of Cobra's basic architecture and how it's positioned in a typical integrated earned value management system. You can think of Cobra as being at the center of your project scheduling, financial, and reporting systems. Cobra uses an Oracle or Microsoft SQL server database as its main repository for all the earned value programs. For integration with other systems, the powerful Cobra integration wizard is used. The integration wizard enables you to easily integrate with scheduling systems such as Deltek OpenPlan, Primavera P6, and Microsoft Project. The integration wizard allows Cobra to load projects from the scheduling system to create your performance measurement baseline. The integration wizard also extracts actual labor units and other costs from your financial system. Cobra then uses this data to calculate the current actual costs and your estimate at complete forecast values. Cobra also has another integration wizard for exporting data to Dell Tech Winsight, an industry standard reporting tool for earned value management reporting and trend analysis. Out of the box, Cobra ships with over 50 standard reports that will cover all your immediate reporting commitments. All of these reports are Microsoft Excel based. You can even customize the reports by modifying the Microsoft Excel templates used to produce them. A Cobra project is comprised of four key files that are the foundation for all projects. Known as ancillary files, each project must be assigned a calendar file to determine the reporting periods, at least one code file, typically the WBS and OBS code files, at least one rate file, more than one rate file can be used in a Cobra project, and a resource calculation file used to build all the direct, indirect, and burden costs for the project. From here on, a Cobra project is simply an assembly of all these ancillary files which support all the control accounts, work packages, milestones, and resources that make up the project. Cobra then uses the ancillary files to determine reporting periods, validate WBS elements, and calculate planned, earned, and actual costs. Now, let's take a quick tour of the Cobra 5.1 interface. Cobra has eight tabs in the left-hand vertical pane of the Cobra Explorer view. These are your main navigation tools. These all reside in the main Cobra Explorer tab and are used to access all elements of a project. When you first log in to Cobra, you are presented with the contents of the Projects tab. The table area of the Projects tab contains a list of all the projects in the system, along with summary data that shows the main budget, earned, and actual costs for the project, along with some standard indices. In this view, you can double-click on any project to open it. The Calendars tab provides access to all the project fiscal calendars defined in the system. Calendars can be created, modified, or deleted in this view. Cobra uses these calendars to determine the reporting periods within the project. The Codes tab provides access to all the code files defined for the various projects. Code files contain such critical items as work breakdown structures, organizational breakdown structures, and other custom code values you may need to assign to your projects. The Rates tab provides access to all the rate files in the system. Rate files contain the current and future rates for all the resources and materials that will be used on the project. The Resources tab provides access to all the resource calculation files in the system. A resource calculation file is used to determine the calculations for direct costs, overhead costs, general and administrative costs, or any other calculations required for each resource. The All Reports tab gives you a list of all the reports available to you in the system. From here you can run existing reports or define new reports and criteria. 
The Personal Reports tab allows you to create a subset of the reports you are most interested in. Batch Reports allows you to organize commonly run reports into a named batch list and run these as a batch process on selected projects. Returning to the Projects tab, let's double click on a project to open it. When the project is open, it creates a tab for that project at the bottom of the screen. You can open many projects during a session and navigate between them using these tabs. With the project open, Cobra displays the project view. In the top half of the screen you are presented with a list of light blue rows that represent the control accounts in the project. These control accounts can be expanded to reveal any work packages that are assigned below. The lower half of the screen provides general, resource assignments, milestones, steps and notes tabs. This is where you can examine or edit detailed data about the object you have highlighted above. The general tab contains all the high level data you need. With the work package selected in this example you can see the description, earned value technique, start and finish dates for baseline, actual and forecast. Resource assignments provide a list of resources assigned and a time phase spreadsheet to the right showing the selected resources cost over time. Resources carry the dollar value for planned, forecast and actual costs. To model this, Cobra uses cost classes to differentiate between a planned cost, a forecast cost or an actual cost. These classes can be seen against the resource in the Resource Assignments tab. If the work package has an EVT of milestones, the Milestones Steps tab displays the details for these. Finally, the Notes tab can be used to keep personal narrative or a log of events that occur on the selected object. Other functions of this screen allow you to add new control accounts and add new work packages to the project. You can also delete work packages and control accounts if your privileges allow. You can build a project from scratch in Cobra, although most projects are created using the integration wizard and a project schedule. You've now seen all the main views for navigating and editing a Cobra project. Next, let's take an overview of the integration wizard and some of its configuration options. Under the file menu, go to integration and choose the integration wizard option. If we wanted to integrate with a project schedule, we go ahead with the default project data radio button option. In the integration configuration dialog, you can select to create a new configuration or open an existing one. In this dialog, you can select the system you want to integrate with or select files to load data from CSV files. In the connection selection dialog, you can define how you want to connect to your scheduling system. In this example, we're connecting to Primavera P6 release 8.2 and including the Primavera integration API. Action Selection allows you to choose the type of integration you intend to perform and what elements you wish to load. Here we've selected control accounts and work packages along with resource assignments. This configuration is for loading a P6 schedule that will create a new project with a performance measurement baseline. In Project Selection you choose the project to integrate with and the target project in Cobra. At this point you could load the project into a shell project or have the integration wizard create the new project for you. Now you define the resource calculation and rate file to use and then select the dates you want to load. The schedule mapping dialog is used to select the P6 user defined fields that contain the information required for Cobra to build the project. A couple more dialogs for selecting the calendar, earned value, resource assignment and filters and you're ready to save your configuration and load data into Cobra. That's a quick look at the integration wizard. This tool is also used for loading data into the rate and resource calculation files and loading actual costs from the finance system. The integration wizard makes Deltek Cobra the most versatile tool on the market, able to integrate with any combination of project and financial systems. During each reporting cycle, certain steps need to be taken to update the status, calculate the earned value, calculate forecast, and load actual costs. Let's look at Cobra to see the functions that you will need to run each month. Advanced Calendar 
This option moves the status date forward to the next reporting period. This prepares COBRA to take status updates from the scheduling and finance systems. Once the calendar has been advanced, the integration wizard is then run to load status from the scheduling tool and the actual costs from the finance system. Next, the Calculate Earned Value function is run to calculate the value earned on the work packages for this reporting period. Finally, the Calculation Forecast function is run to calculate your EAC for any manual or statistical forecasts you have configured. You should perform frequent backups of your COBRA project, especially just prior to, during and after update cycles or any change management operations. Backups can be performed quickly and easily using the Backup button or from the File Manage Files menu. A backup file will allow you to completely reload the entire project in the exact state it was in at the time of backup should the original project be lost. At the end of each update cycle, COBRA is used to produce standard reports so that the current status for the project can be evaluated. COBRA also has a special analysis view that allows you to drill down through any selected structure and locate work packages that have variances using the color red or green coded cells. This tool also allows you to enter narrative about variances in the lower narrative text box. You can also run simple charts from the analyzer view as well as export the table out to Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Once everything is completed for the reporting cycle, you can use the Reports tab to run all the necessary standard formats. Simply choose the report you wish to run from the list and double click to start the report wizard. Following the steps in each dialog will help you build the report with required levels of detail and data types you are interested in. You can easily save your report configurations to a new report for quicker access in the future. The report will open in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and can be further formatted if desired and then distributed as a standard XLSX file to all the project stakeholders. This 10.6 presentation is for educational purposes only. COBRA, COSTPOINT and WINSIGHT are registered trademarks of Deltec. All other trademarks are recognized. <laughs>